All right, folks, here is your quick reminders on combining integers. All right, first of all, we're gonna look at addition. Addition is pretty cut and dry, quick and easy. So let's combine some integers with the same sign first. So we have four plus five. When we combine a positive with a positive, they both have the same sign. That's gonna end up being a positive. Let's try another one. Let's do seven plus eight. They're both positive. So that is going to be positive 15. All right, anytime you combine two positive numbers, they're going to end up being positive. Uh, rule here is if the signs are the same, positive, positive, answer is gonna be positive. So let's look at what happens if we have a, if we're adding two negatives. Let's say we have negative three plus negative seven. Well, we're gonna add the two numbers, they have the same sign. That's gonna be 10. And then we're gonna use a the sign they share. So they're both negative. My answer is gonna be negative. So I add the two numbers and use the sign they share. Just like over here, I added the two numbers and used a positive symbol. Here I'm adding the two numbers and using a negative symbol because they share that symbol. Let's look at another one. Negative four plus negative 10. They're both negative, so my answer is gonna be negative. Four plus 10 is 14. Okay, so that's your, that's your quick rule for adding integers. If the sign is the same, add and use the sign they share. All right, now let's look at, what if I'm combining integers and the signs are different? Well, let's check that out. Let's say it's negative four plus five this time. Well, in this case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the two numbers and say, which one's bigger? All right, five has a larger, ab well, we're really looking at absolute value, but we're just gonna say, which one's bigger? Five is bigger, so I'm gonna subtract, I'm gonna subtract the four from the five, that's gonna give me one, and then I'm gonna use a sign of the number with the larger absolute value or the bigger number. Five is bigger here, so my answer is positive. Right, so I subtract the two and use a sign of the larger number. Let's do the next problem and make the eight negative. Again, I'm going to, signs are different, right? I have a positive and a negative. I'm gonna subtract the two numbers. That's gonna give me one again, because eight minus seven is one, but now my larger absolute value or the bigger number is eight and that's negative. So that's gonna be negative one. Okay, if my signs are different, I'm gonna subtract and use the sign of the larger number. Let's do another one. Let's do negative 15 plus 10. Subtract 10 from 15, that gives me five. Which number is bigger or has a larger absolute value? Well, that's negative 15, so my answer is negative. Let's do 25 plus negative three. Subtract the two, so that's 22. This time my larger number is positive, so my answer is positive. So when you're adding, if signs are different, subtract and use the sign of the bigger But really here, I mean, with the larger absolute value. All right, that's adding integers. Now let's look at subtracting. So subtracting is a little bit trickier. It always is a little bit trickier. Uh, so there's, there's a little thing we're gonna do with this. So let's say I have four minus let's say 10. Okay, don't go too quick on this because some people might just write the answer six, which wouldn't be correct. What I'm gonna use is a little thing called same change change. 
And what that means is I'm going to keep this the same. So I'm going to keep 4 the same. I'm going to write everything down here. I'm going to change the subtraction to addition because addition, I know the, first of all, I know the rules of addition and they're a little bit easier. And so I'm going to change that. And so this was a positive 10. So now I'm going to change that to a negative 10. So you see my same change change. Now, if you remember back up here, when I am adding numbers with different signs, I'm adding numbers with different signs, positive four, negative 10, I subtract. 10 minus four is six. The larger absolute value or the bigger number is 10, so that's negative six, okay? So if I'm doing, let's do another one, three minus seven. I'm gonna keep that the same, three. I'm gonna change that to plus and make that negative seven. Again, here I'm going to subtract the two. That's gonna be four, larger number is negative, so my answer is negative. What if I have 20 minus two? Well, hopefully we know what that is, but I'm gonna still use the same principles. So I'm gonna change that to 20 plus negative two. Twenty minus two is eighteen. My larger number is positive, so that stays positive. All right, let me show you another scenario in here. What if I'm subtracting? What if I have a what if I have a negative four minus a negative three, right? That's a little tricky there. So again, I'm gonna keep this the same. Negative four, I'm gonna change that to plus. And then I need to change this, right, sign? Because we're gonna do same change, change. So that is gonna change to a positive three. And again, I'm using those same rules of two different signs, subtract, that's one. My larger number, however, is negative this time, or my larger absolute value, so that's negative one. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's look at negative seven minus 10. So again, keep that negative seven, change, and I need to change the 10 to positive 10. I subtract the two, that gives me a three, and my larger absolute value, or my larger number is 10, so it's a positive. All right, so subtracting, we're gonna use the same change, change rule, which then gives us the addition rule. So go back and look at the addition uh, to help out with subtracting once you do the same change, change. All right, the next ones are multiplying and dividing. Now, Multiplying and dividing have the same exact rules. Watch. If I have five, and I'm gonna use this symbol for multiplication, times four, and they're both positive, my answer is positive. If I have 20 times two, my answer is positive 40. If I have three times five, right, some people get Confused here, if the number's touching the outside of the parentheses, I am multiplying by what's inside the parentheses, but they're both positive, so I get 15. All positive. Both positive and positive. Let's look at what happens if they're negative. If I have negative three times negative two, well, I multiply the numbers, and if they have the same sign, even if they're both negative, we'll explain that more in class, the answer is gonna be positive. Yes, negative 10 times negative three. It's gonna end up being positive. 10 times three is 30. Negative four times negative two is positive eight. So if the signs are the same,
All right, same thing for division. So 30 divided by 2 equals positive 15. 6 divided by positive 3 equals positive 2. Negative 30, and I'm going to put this, make this look like this, because you're going to see division problems like this sometimes. Negative 30 divided by negative 2 is positive 15. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. So even with division, if they share the same sign, if they're both positive or both negative, the answer is positive. All right, pretty simple on that one. Uh, now let's look at if the signs are different. And again, multiplication and division say, share the same, the same rules for this. So let's multiply 6 times negative 2. Signs are different here. My answer is going to end up being negative. If I have negative 3 times 20, that's going to be a negative 60 for division. Negative 8 divided by positive 2 equals negative 4. You see a pattern happening here? Um, let's see. Uh, 100 divided by negative 20 equals negative what do you see happening here? If the signs are different, every answer, whether it's division or multiplication, is going to end up being a negative answer. So if signs are different, That's super messy handwriting because I'm going quick to keep this short. But if signs are different, your answer is negative. So just a quick recap on this for you. When we're combining integers, when we're adding, if the signs are the same, you add the two numbers and your answer, the signs are the same, you add the two numbers and use a sign they share. So if they're both positive, answer's positive. Both negative, answer's negative. If they have different signs when you're adding, you subtract the number and use a sign of the larger or the number with the larger absolute value. When subtracting, we're gonna use the same change, change rule and turn the subtraction problem into an addition problem and then use the rules above. For multiplying and dividing, if the signs are the same, whether they're negative or positive, if they're the same, the answer is positive. Same thing for dividing. When the signs are different, the answer is going to be negative. doesn't matter if you're multiplying or dividing. All right, that's it. I hope that helps. Keep this as a reference. It'll be in your Google Classroom for you to use. That's it.